Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Today is going to be a special day because we have a special guest joining us later. If you see the title of this video, you'll already know, but it is another greyhound. We are not adopting another greyhound, but we are gonna have two in the house for the day uh, because we're dog sitting our best friend's greyhound, Lupin. This is just gonna be a day in the life and we'll see what we get up to with an extra set of four paws. Lupin, I did nothing. Um, this bush got massacred by the rainstorm. It was like all nice and full, and then when it rained really hard, like last weekend or something, it just like killed it. I mean, I, I feel like it'll perk back up. I thought that it's been like a week. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were bringing this crate. That's great. You been? Hello. You ready to come inside? Okay. There we go. You want to bring him up? Yeah. Open. Hi, buddy. Oh, you brought his crate. You have to do that. Just, just in case you guys wanted to leave. King, are you excited? Okay, that's not it. Okay, well. Oh, hi. <laughs> he looks like. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm good, though. I'm good. King. I can't just only have video of you sniffing his butt. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Nimpin's like, I don't care about you. Can you please leave me alone? Two dogs. What a, <laughs> what a ratio. Three beds, two dogs. Lupin, are we going to have fun? Are you excited? Oh. They have both been, just been laying on their beds, like completely ignoring each other until I picked up the camera and now they want to know about the camera. <laughs> They're both coming to sniff it. I'm like down here on the ground with them. Really, this is much calmer than I expected, which is good. Typically when King uh, meets another dog, he kind of freaks out for like the first hour and then settles, but he was settled like before Lupin's parents even left. So that was great <laughs> we just had to clean out our freezer because it like sat open a little bit a bunch of the stuff in it thawed there was frozen fruit and it leaked into the bottom and it was just like disgusting but the really sad part was that we had a ton of frozen meat that we like had just ready to thaw and all of it had to be thrown out because it was like not food safe anymore the rest of the stuff was like frozen fruit and veggies and we had frozen hot dogs which are fine because they're already cooked but anything else like we had chicken breasts and and beef roast and all of it had to go. I'm so sad. Our freezer is so empty now. So like we were able to keep all of this frozen fruit and veggies, but like our top rack is so empty now. Like this was full of meat. King knows that this is where his Kongs normally are. So he's sniffing around. We're heading out to run a few errands. I need to pick up groceries that I ordered. I'm doing a little bit of shopping uh, as like party planning for a bachelorette that I have on the go. And my one of my favorite authors has a new book out. So I'm gonna go see if I can pick that up at our local chapters. All right, let's go. I honestly don't know how I can be that sweaty after being in an air conditioned mall for however long I was there, but I did find pretty much everything I was looking for, or I at least like checked a lot of stuff off the list. So that was good. I'm just about to head over and pick up the rest of our groceries and then I'm headed home. We just got back from taking the boys for a walk. It went better than expected and I actually walked with both of them in one hand, which I thought was going to mean that they were gonna get tangled, but Lupin walks a lot faster than King does, so it wasn't an issue. And now they're back on their beds, just panting up a storm, because it's decently hot out, so we just took them for a short loop and we got them fresh water, but they're too tired to get off of their beds to go get the water.
We're outside cooking supper and I'm drinking wine and I just went and got my book and King wanted to come outside with us but Lupin's parents wore him out before they brought him to us so he is quite content to stay inside in the air conditioning and so I guess it's just the three of us out here tonight and Lupin's inside chilling and loving his life. All right, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, Eric and I ate dinner on the patio and we ended up just sitting out there for like probably a couple hours, honestly, just talking and finishing off a bottle of wine. And it was really nice, just like the perfect summer Saturday night. We just came inside because it started to get too buggy and we're probably gonna put these guys to bed pretty soon, so. I'll say goodbye. If you liked this content, please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what else you'd like to see from me. All right, bye.